Hello everybody and welcome back to the Rock and Reaction Rollers. We're doing our third and final video for the night and I kind of screwed up a while ago because I had the list of birthdays um, out there hours ago and I put that out first and or I thought I did. I recorded it but I didn't put it out on YouTube so I put them out at the same time so you might see the other video before you see the list if you even read the list um, but or listen to the list but it's out there um, both of them are at once so we're doing the third and final video now and um, the second song that I've chose for the night which is on the list of happy birthdays is we want to say happy birthday to Natalie Maines um, who was the lead singer of the Dixie Chicks and um, she was born in Lubbock Texas and her birthday was um, or will be Saturday October the 14th she was born in 1974 um, she's turns 49 this year, 49 and holding, girl. <laughs> but anyway, I've just always liked Dixie Chicks' music, and in 1998, when this song came out, um, I just had my first baby. I'd been married a few years, um, and uh, I kind of settled into a little country music. There was a little time there for a while that I listened to a lot of it, and Dixie Chicks was one of them. And um, so I've just always liked this little tune we're going to play. We're going to go back to 1998, and we're going to play There's Your Trouble by the Dixie Chicks. So we're just going to get right to it. on the channel but it is music between the 60s and the 90s and we do have a few um, country fans on here and I'm also one of them too and especially during this era of music so anyway we're just doing the 1998 Dixie Chicks tune called There's Your Trouble and this song I guess my reaction to it is is she's trying to convince this guy that the girl that he's with um, is not for him and um, that she is so that's what the whole song's about <laughs> so we're just going to get back to it 1998 there's your trouble by the Dixie Chicks <laughs> Oh, 
just loved that little group and then they just kind of disappeared right about the time I was really starting to like them. So we're going to read a little bit about Natalie here and a little bit about the group too. Okay, and I'm not sure what kind of order I have this in, so it's going to be probably kind of random. But it says, after Natalie left college in 1995, she was recruited by the Dixie Chicks to replace their lead singer they had at the time. The band earned 10 Country Music Association Awards and 13 Grammy Awards, including Album of the Year. Okay, and then... Um, Let's see, down here, it, later on, I think there was some political issues with another um, country music star, I know there was, and it seemed like after that happened, we just didn't hear about the Dixie Chicks anymore, and I don't know if they ruined each other's careers or what they did, but, um, you know, it's all silly fighting, and I think surely they're over it by now, but um, they are still out there, and they changed their names to, they've cut off the Dixie Chicks to just the Chicks now. Um, so I need to go out and listen to a couple of their songs. And also Natalie um, did some solo stuff on her own, too. So, okay, and it says, In her early life, Natalie is the daughter to Lloyd Maines, which is a country music musician and producer. And his wife's name was Tina, so Tina was Natalie's mom, or is. Let's see what else it says here. Okay, in her personal life, she's been married twice and divorced twice. Her first husband was the bassist in the band, and the second husband she met through one of the other girls in the band's wedding. She met him at the wedding, and they have two boys together. So that's just about all I know, and I think this was 2020. They were still playing together, I think, and it was 2013 when she came out with her solo career, I believe. So, gosh, they, they just have some really cute tunes out there. So, if you like that song, that's just one of their little silly ones. Kind of a Taylor Swift type country song, I think. But I just always like them. And um, so, we played one of their songs tonight. So, anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. So, we're going to go for the evening. Come back tomorrow night for um, your guys' request. We're going to try to get at least three out tomorrow night. We'll see how tuckered out I am by the end of the week. So be sure to subscribe. Be sure to consider becoming a member. For those of you who have, thank you so much. Both places, subs and uh, memberships. And um, keep them coming and um, so we can have some fun with it. And um, if you become a rockin' member, um, there'll be a token of appreciation coming to you in the mail very soon. So there is also going to be an added thing. I'm going to try to get it on this weekend, a better way to, to give than just Venmo or sending something in the mail. Um, it's just I just need to get it set up. So I've just kind of got this part started. But there will be something added to it that will make things a little easier too. On your guys' end with some things. So anyway, we're going to go like I said for the evening. Be sure to tell those people you love that you love them each and every day. Tune back in tomorrow night for your guys' request. And peace out.